from it. It sounds like QT66 is ready to go. So let's get some hype for Mega Man X4. Hello everyone, welcome back to AGDQ 2020. Upcoming, it is our Mega Man X block and I see our hall is filled with people so hyped for this block, right? So we have X4, X3, and Mega Man X for the lineup. And to kick off the block, we have QTT6 here to present Mega Man X for 100%. QTT, would you like to say anything? Uh, no. No? So okay. I think we can start it soon. Okay. Yeah, so I counted a time from three. Three, two, one. Go, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of nervous for you though, because this is my first a run on solo with solo, so yeah, it's kind of nervous for me, but I will try to do my best. Okay, and I am ID9000, I'll be providing commentary for this run, and the person next to me, it is TGM3, he will be providing moral support, and say hello to everyone. Uh. Yeah, what do you expect from the person wearing this mask, right? Okay, so Mega Man 100, per Mega Man X War 100%, uh, this is the first X game where you can control Zero, and unlike X has many upgrades and armors to get, uh, for X for Zero 100%, you only have to get 8 hard upgrades, 2 HP tanks, and 1 weapon tank. So here, just now you just saw that QTT broke that wall very quickly. It is because he was using a technique called Saber Dash Cancel or SDC. Uh, this is a trick that makes Zero to be able to destroy a lot of boss and enemies very fast, because a normal complete saber attack has three phases. It would sound like... <laughs> However, the sec first and the second slash, they do not trigger the invisibility frame or, or for most enemies and bosses. And during these phases, you can actually cancel them with a dash. So you will be able to repeat the first and second only second attack like this. <laughs> or in some cases, you can just repeat the first attack only like this. <laughs> yes, so this is the Saber Dash Cancel. So now you can see upcoming, it is our first boss for the introduction stage. And here, uh, QTT was trying to stay on the left of the stage to manipulate the boss to not to fly up. And it seems like he got it. And we finished our first boss for Mega Man X4. So for SDC, actually, uh, in for us, for us coming from Taiwan, we actually give it a name. It is called Hui Tian Jian Wu or Kai Tian Kenbu in Japanese, and by the meaning in English, it is a sword dance that defies crisis. Yeah, and we took this name from the Japanese manga. So to actually to succeed in using this SDC, you do not just spam because actually you need to time the every slash. You have to see that your slash is shown on screen so that you can know that it has hit the enemy. It has to be shown on the screen, and then you can cancel it so that you can successfully do the SDC. So now, it is an introduction to the eight Mavericks that you will see in X4. So coming up, it is our first boss for today. It is the Magma Dragoon. <coughs> and actually, the Capcom, they have included some of the descriptions for these bosses. He betrayed the irregular hunters and hid himself inside a volcano. Yeah, some of these descriptions are actually pretty interesting. So now you can see that when QTT is moving, he is not doing full dashes. Uh, he's using dash and then jump, because this is how he would be able to stay in, move, in full speed. Because in this game, if you do a full dash, there will be a delay. So we only use full dash in some of the parts of the run. So, and also here, you will be seeing he will be taking some damage. And this is because getting the damage, you will have some iframes. And you can use those iframes to get through enemies or obstacles. So, coming up right here, this is one of the first hard tank that you will have to get to in order to reach 100%. And let's see if he makes a jump. Woo! Let's try! Woohoo! Yeah, that is actually not that easy. You need to have a nice uh, visual cue and the correct pixels to get that jump in first try. So now we're going to go to our first boss, Magma Dragoon. Here you will be seeing QTT utilizing the SDC, and by only the first hit, he will be able to kill the boss very quickly, 
as long as the boss is very cooperative. So the attack we want to see is that the Dragoon stays in place and spit fire. Ooh, the boss is not cooperating. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. he still finished the boss very fairly quickly. Yeah, so this is sometimes why we also call SDC the Sword of Disrespect, because we kill all these bosses so quickly, so quickly we are not respecting their presence. Okay, so now we have learned the first upgrade to our saber, the Liu Enjin, basically the Flame Blade, uh, Dragon Flame Blade. So we will be using this Dragon Flame Blade in lots of parts of the run, so this is also one of the reasons why we do this stage first. So upcoming, here is the second Maverick, the Cyber Peacock. So beginning from the level, you will be seeing one of the most common, common theme in GDQ, orbs. Ooh. Yes, these are yellow orbs. And you can also see that when you finish each of this level, you will see you will get a rank. And you will need rank S to be able to get the item that you just saw over there. So the first room doesn't really matter if you get the item or not, but this second room, it is very crucial because you must get a rank S to be able to get a heart tank. And you just now see QDT slash on that yellow orb. This is because if you slash more on the orb, you will be able to make it move faster. And now he got the heart piece, so this stage we will not be able, we will not have to collect other items. And here comes the third phase where it is also timed. In this part, you can see that there are a lot of precise wall jumps that you have to time. Great job. And basically, Mega Man X4, it is a really execution-based game because uh, apart from the boss RNG, uh, the most part that you need is execution. So now we're going to area two of cyberspace and this part, you will be able to see that there are these buttons. These buttons will flip the stage upside down, and there are these big purple balls. Uh, you will have to use them to maybe remove some obstacles, just like the one you see here. When they hit the purple blocks, then they will remove it. So you will have to press the button to be able to go through this level. So now we will be going to the boss, the Cyber Peacock, and here, in the first phase, uh, you will be able to see, depending on the location of the peacock, uh, QDT might use different strategies to, to fight this boss. If the peacock shows up in the middle, then QDT will use a flame, ba flame blade immediately. And if showed up on the sides, then QDT will use an air slash and then the flame blade. Oh, this is actually really good because we want it to be on the top left corner as soon as possible because this is the way that we can do more damage than doing usual flame blade attacks. Wow, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, that's a very fast kill of the boss. Okay, so now after the Cyber Peacock, uh, we actually learn a new technique here. This is called the Nakuhoha. This is the Fallen Phoenix Crush. And this will be actually very crucial for the a boss coming up later. And now, the third Maverick, the Split Mushroom. So in the first part of the stage, it is also a movement Stage. And here you can see on these stairs, uh, QDT will be using a technique called Forward Long Jump, FLJ, not to be confused with BLJs. So after a lot of stairs and climbing, later we will be reaching a mini boss. But before the mini boss, I think it is a good time for some donations. Awesome, thank you so much.
We've got a $5 donation from IC Kid that says, Hello, we are from Taiwan and watching AGDQ with lots of people here. We're so glad that QTT6 can play Mega Man X4 on GDQ. QTT, just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, IC Kid. Yeah, thank you, IC Kid. Thank you. <clears throat> and actually, it is like about 5 a.m. in Taiwan right now. So, yeah, there are staying up all night to watch this. And here you can see that this is the mid-boss. Uh, QT6 has to put Zero in a, in a specific position so that he can get it in place. Then he will be using the Flame Blade and see if he can get it in Woo! one try. Yes, it is because this middle boss, uh, the Flame Sword will always, well, when it always stay in the enemy hitbox, it will keep on damaging it. So this is why he can kill the mid-boss very fast. So upcoming next, this will be a uh, auto scroller stage. So base and before that, we have to collect a heart piece too. So now, as we reach the auto scroller, I think it is about some. We have some more time for about two donations. Beautiful. We've got three hundred dollars from James V. Whoa, three hundred. Excited for X Block, my favorite of the Mega Man's. Putting the rest of my donation money towards that blue tag. We've got $50 from Connor Sweeney that says, The Mega Man block is always my favorite block because it was the first speedrun that I watched and it will always hold a special place in my heart. Can't wait to see all of the Mega Man action. I think we can have one more. Awesome. We've got $25 from Dar78. Staying up late for Mega Man X. Love from Belgium. Okay, so here you'll be able to see QTT6. He is trying to, he should be able to skip that blind climb, but it seems like he did not get it. But it's okay. Here we are becoming to the split mushroom boss. And for the split mushroom boss, he's not a fun guy. He got no RNG here. So this is basically a, yeah, this is basically a scripted fight. As long as you are using the correct techniques, then you can basically finish it uh, it's pretty much the same for every time. So... And very soon, just one more hit, and Split Mushroom is down. So now, after defeating the Split Mushroom, Zero will learn a technique, an upgrade that is called Kuembu also Skywatts. And for Skywatts, uh, it will uh, get zero, a uh, second jump, and also it will change some uh, specifics about the jump, the air slash. And to some bosses, the damage increased from two to three, but to some bosses, the damage is de decreased from three to two. So later in the boss refights, you will be able to see that uh, QTT will be using some different strategies when it comes to air slashes. And now, this one is the Jet Stingray. This is basically a bike stage. And here, QTT will be using the dashes to be able to speed up this, uh, this level. And if you also, uh, the timing of using every dash, uh, is you, you can use an audio cue for that. And if you do them correctly, you can actually speed up like completing this stage 33% faster. And since this is just basically using dashes all the way, so I think this is a still another great time for two to three donations. Thank you very much. We've got a $500 donation. Hey, battery staple, the 20XX guy. Always great to see QTT playing the best Mega Man XX GDQ. Hoo ha hoo! <laughs> Hoo ha hoo! -ha. We've got a $10 donation from Bood85. Long time viewer, second time donating. Good luck to QTT6. It's 5.33 a.m. and I'm staying up just to watch this live. Greetings from Malaysia. And we've got $75 from Coconut Commander. Go, go, Mega Man. Also, honk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are now coming up to the boss. So the biggest RNG of this boss uh, it is very similar to the Storm Eagle in X, is that it will be diving. 
into the water, and we do not want the stingray to dive into water because it will it has a long uh, animation, and we will not be able to hit it. So let's see. Okay, one dive. Two. And after we reach the half of its HP, we will see when will it go down. And here you will just be able to see by using the oh yes oh, yeah. yes by using the SDC, QDT can kill it very fast. Okay, so coming up the next stage, it will be the Web Spider, and the Web Spider. The Web Spider stage, uh, the boss actually has a pretty interesting quick kill. So we will be talking about that later and see if can QDT get it. And he, if he successfully did the quick kill, it can save him up to 26 seconds. So the first part of the Web Spider stage, uh, this is basically another execution heavy stage and you will be able to see some of the most uh, intense actions here by in the waterfall climb. So now is also we can have some donations, like about three. Excellent. We've got a $1,000 donation from Vanitas. Let's pick this Mega Man X 100% block off right. Wow, 1,000. We've got a $200 donation from Key Deep Try. Super excited for the Mega Man block and happy to donate for a great cause. Thank you to all the runners, people behind the scenes who make this happen. Also, huh? Ah. We've got a $100 donation without a name that says, this Mega Man X4 run has been great. Execution and commentary are top notch. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so here now we're in the area two of this stage and later you will see there are a lot of bees inside here and you can see that QD here will be taking damage from the bees and he's doing that is that because if you take damage in air, uh, it will reset the ReZero's ability to do the dash or other air actions again. So that is why he took damage there so that he can keep on dashing. And here is the heart that he have to collect, collect for this stage. And upcoming will be the boss very shortly. And we'll see if he can get a quick kill. So if you see the spider here, there is a there is a string on his back. So later QTT will see if he can he will damage himself with that string and see if he can do a oh missed it just a little by a little bit. See so even try it again. Oh you can see that he did a very you can see the boss HP depleted very fast. Just land. Uh, that is because when you are using an air spin. Uh, when it is when you are using air spin on that, you will be able to damage him. And when the spire goes off screen, uh, it actually does not replenish its ice frames. So you will be able to keep on damaging it. And actually, this stage uh, because it has a lower ceiling, so uh, it will be a little bit more difficult to do the quick kill. But we will see if he can do it on the refights. So coming up, the next stage, the Storm Owl. <coughs> so for the Storm Owl, uh, the first part, it will be basically V0 going through the stage on a Mac. And there is one thing that you can notice, you will notice now when, when QDT goes on the Mac. So now you can see that on the Mac, QDT is moving while charging. Uh, usually when you play this game, uh, if you are charging the, your, uh, your weapon, you will not be able to move or do any other actions. But if you press jump or dash while charging before you touch the ground, you can actually keep on moving 
without being restricted to be staying on the ground for charging. And here, coming to area 2. Oh! Oh! Close call! Well, how did he do that spike jump? Well, actually, that spike on the top, it does not have a hitbox. <laughs> yeah. And actually, what just now, Q QDD was very close to do a two-cycle kill on that mid-boss. And actually, a two-cycle kill is very difficult. So now we're coming to the boss. Uh, this boss, QDD can use the sound cue to know it is coming from left or right. But whether it is coming from up or down, it is RNG. So now you can see QDD is utilizing third slash because in this boss, the third slash, uh, it has no iframes to the third slash. Oh, just a little bit. Okay, we still, we still got it. Yeah, this is because uh, this boss doesn't have iframes to the third slash, so QTD will have to time his first and second slash to be able to get the first slash to hit the boss correctly. Then you can damage the boss uh, and, and deduct a lot of his HP in a very short amount of time. And actually, after you get this, uh, this upgrade, uh, the Saber of Zero will turn from green to purple. So coming up, the next stage is Slash Beast. And this Slash Beast, uh, we will, there will be, a, it will be a level on a train. And actually, uh, trans from transitioning to area one to area two, uh, it is actually cycle-based. So if you waste some time in here, that is okay, because you will have to wait until the cycle reach, then you can go to the next stage. So if you, so if you have heard about uh, Super Mario Bros, it has a frame rule, it is something similar to that. And I would like to quote Darbian's bus example. It is like the, you want to go to the next stage, you have to wait for the bus. So just like this one, you if, you're, if you are there early, you still have to wait until the bus came, then you can go to the next stage. So uh, before we transition to the area two, there is also another boss. And that mid boss, we will be using the spin slash and a spin, a spin slash, uh, it is usually goes right in a circle. And you can see here, he's turning clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Yes. This is because the first, the first four hits, and then he, after the first four hits, he have to change his direction to the other side. And the other four hits will hit the boss too. So that is why he can uh, ma a maximum eight hits on the boss in one spin attack. So the rest of the stage is basically just taking some damage to go through the enemies quickly so we can have some more donations. I've got $25 from the Mega Buck that reads, brought my eight-year-old son Rock to see his namesake Mega Man block for his first GDQ. Go Rockman! <laughs> go Rockman! Dire Wear Chicken donates $20 and says, had to donate for this Monster X4 run. QTT6 is just dominating. <laughs> oh, <my choking. laughs> We've got $20 from Mikhail86 that reads, love from Sweden, gotta go fast. Okay, so now we're coming to the boss, the Slash Beast. So here, we will also be utilizing the SDC. And what we want to see is the boss to do a pattern of two jumps and one roar. That would be the best RNG. So let's see. Okay, the first one is good. Oh, this is actually the best RNG we can get. Okay, nice. Yeah, this attack pattern is what we want because this is the way that we can do more most damage to it. So actually, you can see now uh, QDT is here. Uh, he's playing on a PC version of the game, and Mega Man X4 is actually released on multiple platforms: uh, GameCube, PC, and PS. 
and they have different, each all have different load times. Uh, GameCube have the fastest load time, and then it's PC and PS1. So PlayStation version on the leaderboard is considered the standard version. So faster versions, they will have load times conver converted to match the PS load times. And for example, PC, its load times is about one, one minute and 39 seconds faster. So yeah, on the leaderboards, it will be converted. And now, QDD, he just despawned an enemy by using a, by using a dash and a, and then a flame blade because on the, on the pit below, there used to be an enemy. But if you use that, uh, if you use those inputs, then he will be able to despawn an enemy and then he can leave that area very fast. So this stage is the Frost Walrus, and which is the, uh, the last Maverick stage in this game. So right now, uh, it is also a good time for some more donations. Fantastic. We've got $250 Ooh. from Mahadros. I love seeing all these amazing runs and the great cause they're all for. Best of luck to all the runners. So here, this boss. We'll see if you can get the good RNG. I... It's okay. Because what we don't want to see is that it's claws. We do not want to see the claws closed, because if the claws are closed, we will not be able to hit him. And here, we will be chopping off the ice blocks. Uh, he will be utilizing the first uh, first and second slash. Uh, this is because the, these ice cubes, they have 3 HP each, and by using the first and second slash, the combined damage is also 3. So we will be able to clear these ice blocks very fast by using the first and the second slash. And now you can see that there are some ice phoenix. You can see them on the stage. They seem to be, uh, there are some effects on it. Uh, we do not want it to, to fully do it because uh, it will try to froze all the stage and there will be an animation and it takes time. So we will try either just try to run past it or try to kill it. So here, uh, this is one of the hardest, hardest boss according to QTT. Yes, and basically, on this stage, what you have to do is Flame Blade, all the way. And you can see those are the iframes. Nice. nice. Okay, so after the eight Mavericks, now we're going to the Colonel. So in the first part of the Colonel, there is some intense movement tech involved. So actually, uh, there is, as we mentioned before, by choosing zero, we do not have a lot of upgrades and armor, but actually there is a black zero that exists in X4. And there are some rumors on the internet that says that Black Zero, it got higher attack powers and things like that. Uh, however, Mythbuster for today, Black, Black Zero, it is purely cosmetic. Yeah, it, has, it, ha it does not have more attack power. And so here will be the climbing up, and here QDD will be using a damage boost here and see if he can get it. Yes, yeah, he got it. Yes, there is a damage boost, and w with a wall kick, he would be able to go up very fast. And now, it is to fight the Colonel. And for Colonel, we will be using the Ice Stab that we just got from the Frost Welrus. And actually, the timing of these Ice Stabs, uh, they are you have, to take a, you have to take care of them too, because uh, you can see sometimes his Ice uh, his ice step can do up to two or even three damages by using one ice step. Uh, this is because when you stab the colonel, uh, when you stab it, when it is changing actions, you will be able to damage it twice. And if it is constantly changing actions, you can sometimes even damage it three times. So coming up, it is the waifu stage. Waifu? Yes. Is Iris your waifu? Hi. Also my waifu? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I like waifu. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So here, 
after these parts, it will be the Iris fight. So in the Iris fight, from first, you will see that QDD will be doing Air Slash 8, Air Slash. Because after that, it ha you have to hit the mech 8 times, then the core will come out, then you can do actual damage to Iris. So starting the fight, you will see QDD using the air dash, uh, air, air slash to damage it eight times, and then it will be flame blade to air slash and flame blade repeated in this cycle. And you can see that his flame blade is actually interrupted by the by getting hit. And this is because uh, during the flame blade, uh, you actually the flame blade animation is quite long. And you do not want Zero to go all the way up to the ceiling because it wastes time. So that is why you will get hit during the Flame Blade so you can, so you can kill the boss faster by using two Air Slash and then start another Flame Blade. Yes, due to some technical difficulties, we will not be able to see the legendary cutscene. And here, for the gen before we fight the general here, QDT will be taking the lower route. The lower route is the faster route. And here, Colonel is actually a RNG fest because to be able to let because sometimes it can cost you up to minutes if the Colonel uh, if the if the General is not doing the action that you want. Uh, so what we want is that its fist to come out, but sometimes it will be flying around all the time and you will not be able to damage it because the only place you can damage the General it is his head. Oh, so uh. nope. Now we can only use some slashes here and see if we can get a better attack pattern. Okay, we got it. This is the attack that we want. Take a look at the HP. Oh yeah! Yeah! yeah. So here you can see QTT is utilizing the first slash. Uh, because this boss has no iframes to the first slash, so every frame that his saber, this his first slash saber is in his hitbox, it will hit. So that why that is why he is killing the boss so fast, and that is also why he is using full slash instead of very short slashes. And now we will be coming to the signature eight Mavericks refight here. So the, these refights, some of them we will be using different strategies, and some of them we will be using the same one. So I think now it's time for we can have one donation. All right, thank you so much. We've got let's see what we've got. We've got twenty-five dollars from Comic Chaser. Had to donate during one of the best Mega Man games. X for hype. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes. So you can see, first boss down, very fast. So coming up here, you will see that QDD is getting a HP replenish. And actually, after you finish each boss, there will be an, an HP replenish item there. But uh, basically, we will only get that once, unless only if, at the time, maybe we got too much, take too much damage, so that QDD will have to take another HP refill. But usually, just one. So now let's see if we can get the quick kill of Spider. Get it? Oh, oh. We got the first part, but still not the second part. Yeah, because the second part is totally RNG. Because if we want to get the second part of the first kill, the spider has to appear at the place where Zero is at, but that is pure luck. But we have finished the second boss here. So the next one is a refight of the Peacock. And here you will see QDT, he will not be using the Air Slash here, uh, because as we mentioned, after getting Sky Waltz, uh, your Air Slash damage to this boss has reduced from 3 to 2. So the, more, the most efficient way for this boss in the refights now is just to use all these 
uh, fire flame swords, flame blades, instead of slashing it. So actually, there is one thing that, well, it's sort of like in a meme in the Taiwanese export community. Uh, we often call this peacock a Taiwanese peacock, and this meme is back to the Justin TV ages. We basically because uh, players they basically take voice clips of a streamer shouting out Taiwanese profanity and replace the peacock's voice. Yeah, and it sounds ridiculous. It's pretty silly, but you of course you will not hear it here. But you can take a look at PD QDT's PV video. It's there. Okay, so the rest of the refights, they are pretty much the same, so we can have more donations. Fantastic. I've got $50 from S. Herzog that says, I'll donate another $50 if we can hear more zero sound effects from the couch. <laughs> I've got $50 from Raven's Chakra, longtime watcher, and finally able to donate. QTT6 and the couch is amazing. Honk! 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 I've got $40 from Mad God Rando. Let's go Mega Man X Block and let's get this Pokemon Blue Task. Shoutouts to the crew behind the scenes, keeping everything running. We've got $75 from Zed Prinny to defeat cancer and to kick all the Master Robots in the Mega Man X series. Also, let's see Taskpot destroy Pokemon Blue. I've got a $500 donation Ooh. from SciCast153 with no comment, but thank you so much for that donation. Thank you so much. Thank you. We've got a no name, no comment donation for $200. Thank you, no. Thank you, Anonymous. Thank you. From Siryu X, we've got $25 that says, I'm mega extra hyped for the Mega Man X block. Keep rocking and rolling, all you runners. Yes, and you can see the mushroom is rolling right now. <laughs> I've got $100 with no comment and no name. Thank you. Thank you. So we are now approaching the end of these refights. I've got $100 from Connor Recan. We don't have all of Task Block unlocked yet. Let's get those donations in, everyone. Got $30 from Hop and Pop. Loving this year's GDQ. Big ups to everyone who helps make this event possible. From the generous donors watching at home, to the runners and fans in the convention hall, to the hard workers who never emerge from behind the scenes. These events make me proud to be a gamer. Huh? Uh. Okay, so now we're going into the last three fight. And here before we go into the last Sigma fight boss, uh, I would like to introduce someone to you. Waifu! <laughs> yes, I don't know if you can see this or not, uh, but this is Six Jam. This is basically QTT's daughter, according to himself. Yeah, this is an artwork commissioned by himself. Yes, yeah, so Six Jam is also here on the couch providing moral support too. Okay, so, what, you don't like your daughter on the couch? Okay, so now we're coming back to the final fight, to the mastermind of this game, the Sig Sigma. So, Sigma fight, it has three phases. The first phase, only the flame blade will give, will give uh, damage to the boss. 
So here you'll be seeing 2DT using Flame Blades. Are you ready and some of them have to be timed so that you can attack it when it is doing some action. So you can see he damaged here once and another one on the way. Okay, now we're done with the first phase. And here is the second phase. So the second phase, uh, the first part is pretty much scripted. The Scythe will go for one spin, and then 2DD will try to lure the Scythe to go on the wall so that the lasers will not hit him. And then he will get the damage, go to the back of Sigma, and do SDC to nice. finish it quickly. So now we're coming to the final phase of Sigma. And here, there are two Sigmas that you will have to kill. One is on the wall and one is on the ground. Are you ready for your final journey? So you will also see these heads. Uh, you will see three colors of them. Uh, only the one that is attacking you that you will have to defeat it so that you can continue to the next phase. And actually, in this Sigma on the floor, there are two types of attack that it can do. It can be sucking in, thing, sucking in things, or it can be blowing out. What we want to see is sucking in so that, but now we QD didn't got it, and see if he can get it for the second time. And we done with yeah! the first one. Okay, this is the pattern that we want to see. Doing some damage, iframes manipulation, yeah, and we're done. However, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. We will reach. We will say time when the QD when zero reaches the last platform. So get ready. Time. Okay, so QDD, would you like to say anything? Uh, so a special shout for the Mega Man X community. I think he's in still practicing for the next program, which is a Mega Man X Relay. And uh, for me, uh, I have been playing speedrun for a very long while, probably five more years. And uh, Mega Man X Four is my very first game to speedrun, and I took. Mm, I'm not quite sure like how much time to practice it. So uh, when uh, AGDQ comes to submit a run, and I decide to try to submit my X4 run, X4 0 100%, and uh, I'm very glad I can show the stuff. Should, should uh, I anything everything I learned? in this game and the show to yourself, you, you guys. So I'm very happy with it. Thank you so much. Yeah, so now for, and actually, this GDQ, this is actually a dream come true for the three of us because we actually have been planning to come to a GDQ for several years, and we finally did it this time. And so actually, coincidentally, today is also the presidential election of Taiwan today. So it is actually a dilemma for us to choose between. And it is actually a very hard choice, but we reach a conclusion. No matter where you are in the world, you can use your own way to help others. Today, we choose to be here for the great cause of preventing cancer, and we believe that it is a very meaningful decision. And in the meantime, to all the viewers in Taiwan, on this important day, you can make the decision that you think is correct. And we will not be able to finish this run without all of, all of your support. Thank you, GDQ, and everyone for this great event. Let's give QDT another round of applause. Yeah! So stay tuned because we have X3 and Mega Man X coming. Thank you, QTT6, for that amazing run. All right, let's get some donations out, shall we? We've got $100 from Ostar. X4 at GDQ. I got to donate for a run of my favorite games of all time. 
Thank you for GDQ for all that you do. I've been watching for eight years and enjoyed every second of it. What are we fighting for? We're fighting to beat cancer. I've got $100 from the crank machine. Ah, an excellent run with zero mistakes. QTT6 is so focused, nerves as hard as a rock, man. The need to donate is irresistible. And naturally, I have to double up on the puns. I'll be back with more puns like the maverick I am. I've got $75 from Calendor. I've been looking forward to the X Block all week. Wonderful seeing some of my favorite childhood games get decimated. I've got $100 from Milzilla. Shout out to our host, Cute Fulu. She's doing a wonderful job. Hey, that's me. <laughs> I've got $50 from Ediot130. I've been excited for the X block all week. My expectations could not be higher for these exceptional runners. I've experienced these games myself as a kid, so seeing them run except expedited should be extraordinary. Anyway, I'll wrap up my extensive comment. Good luck running Mega Man. What is that, 10? We're going to run it over to a Twitch ad. I'll be right back. And welcome back. I've got a $25 donation from the one and only 747. Hey, GDQ, it's been one heck of a week, and about time I threw some money in the pot. My mother has dealt with cancer twice, but she's still with us while others are not as lucky. Let's get cancer down a peg or two, and let's see even more Pokemon with that TAS run. We've got another $17 from Mitch Z that says, come on, let's get that TAS goal met. I agree, we are just a little bit uh, under $100,000 to get that task block incentive met. So please donate towards that because I want to see more Pokemon. I want to see more Taskbot. 
I've got a $500 donation from Brainiac 744. And it simply says, honk. I've got $25 from Prismatic. Loving this Mega Man X4 run. Donating towards Pokemon Blue Task Bot run. I've got $15 from Honkman X4, Fantastic Run, Great Couch, and Wonderful Host Voice. Thank you, everyone, for this amazing event. Love from friends. Merci beaucoup, mon ami. We've got $50 from Red October. I'm working from home today so I can watch the last couple days of GDQ. Hype! I've got $10 from Condor77. Keep up the great work, tech crew. Let's get that Pokemon Blue TAS run. I've got $25 from just a goose passing by. I've got $25 from Shy Ranger. Psst, guys, I'm donating during work right now. Don't tell anyone. I mean, aside from the hundreds of thousands of people watching this, but aside from that, don't tell anyone. Andrew E. has donated $211.20. I am sad today. Neil Pert, the drummer and lyricist of the band Rush, passed today after a battle with brain cancer. This donation is to honor his memory and the music that means so much to me. Thanks for everything, and let's kick cancer's butt. I've got $50 from Kaioken, donating for my pal Victoria, who's in the middle of her own battle with cancer. Let's kick cancer's butt. I've got a $200 from donation from Mario Man 920 without a comment. And I've got a $200 donation from Ryan 40 without a comment. Rymaster33 sent us $25 with the comment, unfortunately, I lost both of my grandmothers to cancer recently, so I make this donation for both of them. So grateful to GDQ and PCF for all that you do. Awesome, are we ready for more Mega Man? Yeah. All right, let's throw it over to Darrenville with Mega Man X3.